Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, March 1st. So welcome to a brand new month. I'm going to advise that you go ahead and listen to March's energy forecast. Give you a little bit of a heads up, a summary on the energy that we can expect for the month. And with a brand new month comes a brand new life lesson, which we definitely cover in March's energy forecast. So we are going to feel the shift here today for a couple of reasons. First of all, we're in a brand new month. Second of all, the moon is going to be moving into the Piscean energy, the new moon Piscean energy. Things are getting very overwhelming, very highly emotional, very disassociative. Why? Because the new moon illuminates our shadow part. It illuminates the parts of us, the thoughts, the elements in our lives that we no longer want to experience. But of course, we have to sit in it before we realize how we're going to dig our way out of it. This new moon in Pisces that is going to peak tomorrow is definitely going to heighten our senses, make us very overwhelmed in our headspace, in our emotional field, will likely want to make us retreat and escape reality altogether. But let me tell you, a lot of dark force energies are going to come at us because this is a very magical time to get a vision, to get a dream, to infuse it with the right kind of emotion so that we can get to business and actually start bringing it to life. So we did have that shift out of the moon in Aquarius into this Piscean energy, and we are definitely going to feel a little bit shaky, a little bit unstable, especially at the beginning of the day. There are nine different aspects taking place here today, and seven of them involve the moon. So we have the moon making some not so nice aspects right out of the gate in the beginning of the day. And let me remind you that every single time we are given a beautiful opportunity to move forward, to enlighten ourselves, to raise our vibration, you best believe that the circumstances are going to be dark. That dark force agenda does not want us making any kind of movements into enlightenment, into awareness, into a higher vibration and frequency. So we have to expect that they're going to pull out all the stuff. And we're definitely feeling that in the beginning parts of today. So the moon bumps into Neptune, bumps into Chiron, bumps into the true node. This is all happening relatively close to one another and definitely going to disrupt our inner realms, our inner thoughts, our inner emotions, likely triggering a certain situation in our physical realms to really show us where it is that we are still hurt, where it is that we still feel raw, still feel vulnerable, still feel like our wounds are wide open. This is definitely going to put us at odds, not only with ourselves but likely with a couple of people in our realms, in our personal relationships. This is likely going to disrupt the way that we think about our current circumstances and the plans that we currently have for the future. We're being kind of plotted against our own selves, the fear, the insecurities, the doubts really coming out of the woodwork, speaking all of those uncertainties, doubts and fears into our future plans. The moon is going to bump into Venus and Mars, who are traveling very close to one another in the cosmos, the feminine and masculine divine energies. And let me tell you, this is going to disrupt our day again. This is an outside activation again, likely coming from a personal relationship again. Why? Because we have some dramatic changes that we have to make to who it is that we surround ourselves with, who it is that we share ourselves with. And of course, Venus, she has a lot of realizations to do. She is about to come out of her shadow period. And she realized a lot about her own self-worth, her own self-confidence, her own self-esteem. While she was in a retrograde and not that long ago, she's definitely taking her sweet ass time trying to put the pieces together and actually muster up the courage in order to do what she has to do in her physical life to break away from those that are holding her back, those that are not mirroring back how it is that she is feeling about herself. And Mars, the god of war, is here to take action, here to do what is necessary in the physical realm to honor What it is that we know within ourselves has to change in our personal relationships, in the energy exchange, in the energy dynamics. 
So we are going to feel overwhelmed. We're going to feel hypersensitive. The Piscean energy itself, let alone being in the dark moon phase, is the shadow part of ourselves. We feel overwhelmed. We feel overstimulated. We feel like we just want to run and hide. The true node actually semi-squares Chiron. And this is an element that we don't see too often because the true node, of course, is in Taurus, you know, fresh in Taurus for the next 18 months. And the true node is asking us to see where it is that we want to be, our soul's mission, our soul's purpose, the new path in which we desire to pursue. But Chiron is the wounded healer. He is showing us where it is that we need to do some serious healing within ourselves before we're going to be able to actually move forward, before we're actually going to be able to pursue the new path, pursue the new inspirations that we've been downloaded with. The true node semi-squaring Chiron in this way is definitely going to have us questioning our plans and moving forward. We're not thinking clearly. We do not have a strong intuitional gut feeling about what it is that we need to be doing as of right now. We are overwhelmed on all fronts. The moon goes ahead and bumps into Pluto. My goodness, Pluto wants us to stand in our power, wants us to take uh, control back in every way possible, especially emotionally. And right now we're having a really hard time figuring out how it is that we think, how it is that we feel and what it is that we should be doing in life. Again, the Piscean energy is very overwhelming. Many of us just want to keep our head stuck in the sand or curl up in a ball in bed and not deal with reality at all. And with the activations taking place in our physical realm, making it super overwhelming no doubt we are not going to want to deal with the current situations that are popping up and arising for our attention. The moon bumping into Pluto in this way is going to activate our darkness, is going to activate our fear, our doubts, our insecurity. Now we have a choice whether or not we're going to sit, sit there and set up camp or whether or not we're going to use that as motivation to make the changes, to boss up, to stand in our power, to turn that pain into power, to turn that darkness into light. The moon gives us a harmonious aspect with Uranus. This is about the only positive aspect that we are having here today. And the moon harmonizing with Uranus, the great awakener, is showing us where it is that now we're having this aha moment. May I remind you, it is essential, even though it's very uncomfortable, to sit in the depths of our darkness, in our mind space, in our heart space, because what happens? We get uncomfortable. What happens? We get overwhelmed. We recognize where the pain and the suffering is too much. And we recognize that no one is coming to save us, that we must save ourselves. And out of that realization, we get inspired to make a change. We get inspired to take a look at it from a different perspective. We get inspired to stand in our power, to take control, to step into our authority and really boss ourselves up so that we don't have to experience this kind of darkness anymore. The moon bumping into Uranus in this way is like a shock like an aha moment, like a moment that just inspires us from our crown, from our intuition, from the higher realms, where we see the darkness, we see the pain, we see the struggle, we see the suffering for what it is, which is a life lesson, a life lesson divinely scripted to show us our true power. And once we have this perspective shift, once we have this aha moment, we see our physical realms in a totally different way. Suddenly we see where we need to make the changes in our personal lives with our personal relationships. Suddenly we see the vibration and the frequency that we need to be harnessing in order to get ourselves out of this funk. We see our worth. We see our confidence. We see our self-esteem from the viewpoint of pain and suffering and recognizing where it is we don't want to live there anymore. So this about it's pretty much the only positive aspect that we have here today, the moon and Uranus. This is a shock. This is a disruption to our system. This is an aha moment that is going to change the course of our path moving forward. And it comes just in the nick of time, even though this isn't the most pleasant energy, because Venus goes ahead and semi squares the sun. Venus is about love and worth and value, about money about the reflection of money and our personal relationships mirroring back to us the way that we actually feel about ourselves. Venus wants to make a great change. She knows it in our heart that she has to make a great change if she wants the outcome in which she desires. 
the sun in Pisces is illuminating for her where it is that she has to align with her higher self. She has to trust her intuition. She has to hold a dream very strong in her heart space. She has to unlock her creativity in order to actually solve some of the problems that she knows that she's having, that she knows she has to break away from. So the sun essentially is illuminating for her the path in which she knows she has to walk in order to get the results that she knows that she wants, she needs, she desires. This is setting us up for a very intense new moon energy. May I remind you, I feel the need to repeat myself because a lot of people will forget that a new moon, although it is a beautiful time to set new moon intentions, we only arrive to those new moon intentions because of the pain and suffering, the darkness, the shadow work that we must do in order to realize what it is we no longer want to experience in our lives so that we can come up with a plan to break free from the darkness, from the shadows, from the pain, from the suffering that we know has been divinely scripted for us to find our power and is shoving us in the right direction to make a dramatic change.